Good day everyone! I am Aragon of Sirloff from 11 Yums Mackenzie and I'm going to discuss about the history of Mahayana Buddhism. But before I start, I'm going to give you a brief introduction about the Mahayana Buddhism. So, Mahayana Buddhism has diverged into many schools 2000 years ago and it also called a great vehicle because it embraces us so much and it grows and keeps growing until at this moment yeah so let's go back to the topic during the third century bce a number of subtle variations began to take place in buddhism at the time when the maorian king ashoka was propagating buddhist gospels through missionary efforts the Mahasamgika, one of the early buddhist schools is a shang ano isa siya sa tumulong para mapalaganap ang Mahayana Buddhism. Isa siya sa tumulong upang mapaunlad ang Mahayana Buddhism. Especially noong Second Buddhist Council. These new developments with the newfound Buddhist sect comprise a set of differing notions pertaining to the original founder and great teacher Siddhartha Gautama. Firstly, Ang mga ma- Mahayana Buddhist, naniniwala sila na sinasabi lang ni Siddhartha Gautama yung key principles sa mga taong pinagkakatiwalaan niya at sa mga piling tao na faithful sa kanya. Second, mga, yung mga Mahayana Buddhist, naniniwala sila na si Siddhartha Gautama ay isang benevolent celestial being at hindi siya talagang human being. Naniniwala sila na ano, isang celestial being lang si Siddhartha Gautama. Thirdly, ang mga mah- Mahayana Buddhist, nan, ano, they advanced the radical area that si Siddhartha Gautama ay hindi lang nag-iisa na Buddha dito sa mundo. Na naniniwala sila na mas, mad- mas madami pang mga Buddha in the future. Ayun. This unique concept impressed many followers because they can now revere their beings, study their lives, construct, construct temples, and develop an innovative belief system. In time, missionaries of Mahayana Buddhism pumunta sila sa ibang lugar upang mag-influence at magpalaganap ng Mahayana Buddhism. Pumunta sila sa iba't ibang lugar para ano, i-influence yung mga ibang mga tao na sumalit sa Mahayana Buddhism. Ayun. Other religions could be absorbed by Mahayana Buddhism by way of this key principle in their proselytizing activities. Well, Theravada was the first to enter China. Um, Mahayana Buddhism took a major foothold of China while local beliefs were relegated to lesser stature. And the first is China, second is Korea, um, next is Japan, and Mongolia and Tibet. But sadly, um, while the missionaries keeps influencing and go in the other country to make people to be a Mahayana Buddhist, the India where it starts, the rate of the Buddhist here become low. It became low because it the other people changed their religion. But Mahayana Buddhism is the most popular branch of Buddhism in the world today. Um, the Mahayana Buddhism disappeared in India during the 11th century, but the only faithful people remains a Mahayana Buddhist. So let's go in, let's move on in sacred scriptures. Well, the Mahayana branches accept the 
canonical texts of Theravada school, such as Tripitaka, Sanskrit world word for three baskets, which is collection of Buddha's teachings. Um, yung Tripitaka naglalaman siya ng Buddha's teachings, so it also has a devotional text. Ayun, naglalaman siya nun. Next, the Mahayana Buddhism also consists of Tripitaka, which is Sutra Pitaka, Vinaya Pitaka, Abhidharma Pitaka. So, ang tatlong yan, ang ano niyan, ibig sabihin niyan is Discourse, Discipline, and Ultimate Doctrine. Yan. Next is the Lotus Sutra. It the Lotus Sutra contains the most definitive teachings of the Buddha. Ito yung naglalaman ng mga mas malalalim pa na tinuturo ni Buddha, yung mga teachings niya. Ano? Pervading most schools of Buddhism in China, Korea, and Japan by way of northern transmissions, reciting the text of Lotus Sutra. Ayun, yung ibang schools sa tatlong country na yon pinaparecite nila sa mga students nila yung Lotus Sutra. So, a key idea within the influential sutra is that all people equally and inherently possess the so-called Buddha nature. Um, in short, the attainment of 14 enlightenment is open to all regal- regardless of their gender, race, social status, and education. So, Hope you understand. That's all for my lesson. Um, hope you understand what I've said. And thank you for watching.